Vascular anastomosis requires extremely accurate closure. Now, why is that? Vessels are under constant pressure, the systolic and the diastolic pressure. Whatever you might do, your vessel anastomosis should be watertight. It should not leak the blood. It should not ooze any material from it. It should be strong enough so that it can sustain systolic pressures of even 180, 190 millimeters of mercury. So your bowel, uh, your vascular anastomosis needs to be perfect. Now, it needs to be permanent and integrated within the uh, vessel itself. Uh, and you can also use a prosthetic material. Sometimes there's extensive damage to the vascular tissue and as a result of which it cannot be repaired by itself. You can use a prosthesis for that. But whatever prosthesis you are using, or whatever prosthetic material you are using should be strong enough to withstand the systolic pressure in the human being. So in the bowel, you normally prefer non-absorbable sutures. And why is that? Now, non-absorbable sutures would not be absorbed. Since they would not be absorbed, they would uh, provide strength for longer periods of time. You must understand that a non-absorbable suture does not, um, does not get not absorbed forever. There is a half-life, there is a time till which the non-absorbable suture stays. After that time, even the non-absorbable suture uh, is disintegrated. Lose, it loses its strength. However, the time during which the non-absorbable suture maintains its strength is the time the vessel repairs itself. So you all, it is always recommended to use a non-absorbable suture in vascular anastomosis. Now, the suture line should be regular. It is very important because an irregular suture line would cause thrombosis and chances of th distal thromboembolism. And finally, the suture size, it depends on the vascular caliber. So depending upon the size of your vessel, you select the suture. You might choose 2 knot for aorta. You might choose 4 knot for femoral artery, 6 knot for popliteal and distal arteries. And all of these should be taken on an atraumatic round-bodied needle. So this was just an approximation. You always look at the vessel, you see the diameter of the vessel, and you decide what type of suture you might require for this vessel. And the needle used would be a round-bodied needle. Now, the knots, they require multiple throws. So best would be a surgeon's knot or a reef knot or a modified reef knot. And you, uh, the knots should be perfect and should hold in positions because the uh, knot is what is holding the suture line in place. If the knot is loose or if the knot is unbridled, that would be a catastrophe.